Hello, welcome to the third lesson. In this lesson, we're going to look at how we can um, shoot the enemy. As, as, as it currently stands, we walk on the map, the enemy detects us, and when it detects us, he runs after us. Um, but nothing happens at that point. So in this particular lesson, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the um, uh, have us shoot the enemy. So um, going back to the map we, we were in we were in last time. I'm going to carry on working from that one. So um, if you remember, we've got our enemy here. Uh, we've got ourselves here um, and the um, uh, enemy waiting in the corner for us. So we just need to go. If you've reopened it in your content, in your third person blueprint, you need to, because if you remember last time we added a new and we added new features from the content pack and we picked third person. So in content, it's third person blueprint. Go into the blueprints and you'll see we made an enemy. We might as well keep this enemy and we'll put we'll put a lot of features into it and then after that we can um, duplicate it and start to remove stuff. It saves doing repetitive tasks. So double click it and it opens up and there you'll see um, the vision detection. Um, when I when I play the game, um, just to show you, when I, when I fire, I fire what's called a projectile. So if I went into the um, content, first person blueprint, and I went into, I think blueprints, you'll see there's the first person projectile and I'm called the first person character. These, it's useful to know if you're ever looking for something. So in content, back to third person, blueprints, enemy AI. So we want our projectile to hit the enemy. So to, so to do that, we need to add a, a mesh around our enemy. That's, that's almost like a sense. So as soon as it hits that mesh, the, uh, the, the, the collision will have happened. So, so to do that, I add a component and I'm going to say collision. And we've got different types of collision. There's a box where I can just put a box around the person. I can put a circle or I can put a, a capsule. I'm going to go for the capsule and I'm going to name it. I'm going to call it um, enemy collision mesh. I like the word mesh. So enemy collision mesh. Oh, I didn't save that. Enemy collision mesh. Hit the enter key. And there you'll see the, a yellow mesh has appeared. I'll drag that out. I'll, um, and I'm going to make it slightly bigger than this one. It's quite important that it's slightly bigger than this. or Because if it's inside this mesh, it won't be... It won't be detectable. So all the usual features that we're using here. So it's exactly the same size. I'd probably be safer to make it a bit bigger. I can show you what happens if we don't at another time. So oh, that's too much. Okay, so now whenever we hit them, we will we'll be we'll have a collision. So oops, where's he gone? If you do do that, you can do um reset cameras and it goes back if you ever get lost just do reset cameras and it goes back so we've got our capsule um that's all done so now we can go to our, keeping keeping on our enemy capsule we can go to the event graph always remember there's this area here um my screen is quite small i've got I'm working on a 19 inch monitor so that's causing me a bit of a problem for these lessons if i scroll down you'll see i've got um, a hit some hit features here so on component hit or on component overlap well we're going to hit it with a projectile so I just click add and let's put this in and what what are we going to do well it's the um, projectile um, so uh, yeah cast the first person projectile I make sure we got context sensitive ticked so um, I, I type projectile is found here. I could have also typed in first person and then first person projectiles there as well. So 
first person projectile is ticked and then if I delete that and let, let's see if I drag this out and I turn off context sensitive um, that doesn't make too much of an impact I'll turn it off yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get a lot more a um, lot more options so first person first person projectile cast to first person projectile that's the one we want so cast to first person projectile is probably better to turn sens the sensitive on and what are we going to do well what i'll do is i think we'll do print string um turn that on makes it easier print string and i'm going to type in um hit the target so when when there's when our mesh gets hit by the first person's projectile um print print string hit the target so compile that oh so i haven't um the type object is undetermined connect something to cast a first person projectile so i will of the actor to the projectile okay so it's the other so this is the first person projectile what's being hit is the other actor which is the third person compile again we're up and running i'll click save and then we'll close it down and now i'll go up to the enemy and when i, if I hit him it says hit the when i hit him it says Target. so we know it works so from here there's a whole range of, of things we can do so we can go back into the target we could do print string um and hit target um we could delay so delay for one second delay for one second and then destroy destroy actor so that's it so compile all of that and close it down press play and now when he sees me now we're going to get closer hit the target one second later he's gone and that's it he's gone no more else to be seen um and that's pretty much it for that. if if we wanted to what what we could do is what did we call our what do we call our map let's have a look so if we go into content and first person shooter no first person blueprint always first person blueprint maps if i call if i rename this map and i'll call it level one oops i left the caps lock on level one i'm going to call the map level one it'll save that and then i can add a new feature in back to content third person blueprint blueprints enemy one now what i'll do i'll add one more thing in and i will destroy the actor and we will put in a um what can we put in open level so we'll do open oops open level and i called it level one so now when i compile no problems close it down when i when i press play this time when the long he sees me fire hit the target one second and we've we level one is there again bang he goes we're back to level one so i hope you found that useful um that that deals with fight shooting the enemy and um yeah look he's found me that deals with shooting the enemy and um
testing it with the print string and um, re restarting the level. I'll see you for the next lesson. Thank you very much.